An AWS outage unveiled global dependency, affecting businesses and tech users alike. It happened. Now what? Let's talk about it. So welcome to the Cloud Computing Insider. My name is Dave. Let's get started. So unless you were under a rock this week, big uh, cloud news, a major AWS outage on October 20th, 2025, disrupted countless services worldwide, including popular apps like Snapchat, Netflix, Robinhood, uh, and evidently the Starbucks app didn't work, which is how I heard about it. Uh, the interruption uh, uh, stemmed from issues in a core AWS infrastructure, actually their DNS server, I uh, had an issue, domain name server, resolves uh, uh, IP addresses to names, impacting everything from streaming to gaming to financial services and government platforms. What was really interesting about this is the number of uh, businesses that were, were impacted. In other words, uh, I knew it was a fairly uh, huge dependency on AWS out there and many of the small businesses out there and many of the clients I was dealing with, but... You really, until you take the service away, you don't know how dependent they are and hugely dependent, probably more so than I had, I'd even guessed uh, in the past, because obviously you don't know who's using AWS or not unless they disclose that to you. And everything was down and, uh, you know, including, um, you know, services that I needed to use to, you know, get ready to prepare for stuff with my consulting firm and all that kind of stuff. All that stuff was uh, disrupted uh, on that day to the point, you know, I lost money and obviously lots of other businesses lost money as well. 